My name is Nicholas Cron. I was born and educated in Dublin, Ireland. After receiving a master's degree in business and economics, I was offered and accepted a chance to come to New York with a green card. Shortly thereafter, I met my beautiful wife, Vivian, and a few years down the road, when we started a family and were looking for a place to settle down, we chose Great Neck. The reason? The reputation of the public schools. Today, 18 years later, I'm the proud father of four amazing children, three of whom are in the Great Neck public school system. As many of you know, I have had kids in both private and public schools. Both have been positive experiences and have given my children the seeds that they need to flourish to be who they are today. Some in our community fear my motives for running for the Board of Education because my children started out in private school. But my message is far from scary. I believe that the Great Neck Public Schools are our community's most precious jewel and we must do everything to ensure that they remain the best in the state. We must pass the budget this year and every year. We also must pass the bond. We must work together as a community in the interests of all of our children and for education in general. My judgment and my vision in this matter are clear. While considering to run for the Board of Education, I started to attend the board meetings on a regular basis. I've not missed a single meeting in eight months. After key meetings, I published a blog with my impressions, thoughts and summary of what transpired. After coming in second in the election, I could have dropped out of sight, but I took it upon myself to work with the Board of Education to keep them informed on what I was hearing on the street in Great Neck about the upcoming bond referendum. I freely shared my expertise and made suggestions on how to persuade Great Neck to support the bond. It was through this process that I decided that I had to run again to take on a more effective role in the district. I continue to write and publish information about the bond and the budget to help the community better understand what is being offered. Check out my piece, So What's All the Fuss About This Budget and Bond, and my online calculator that tells you how much the bond will increase costs directly to you. I know that I'm ready to step forward and steward the Great Neck Public Schools into the future. I also know the schools from the inside out. Over the past seven years, I've watched and led my kids through Baker Hill IEPs, theatrical productions, family picnics and multiple events. In the middle school, we dealt with the pros and cons of taking the ELAs and dealing with the pushback on Common Core. Having three children go through middle school, we have attended five years of band and chorus performances, multiple sporting events, school plays and science fairs. With high schoolers, we were introduced to the amazing assortment of high school electives offered to our children, and my wife and I were jealous and wished we once again could attend high school. With the junior, we were exposed to all the SAT, ACT prep classes and driver's ed classes offered at the incredible Cumberland Adult Ed Centre. Just last week, I had the pleasure of driving my two high schoolers and their fellow Interact Club members into New York City until 2 a.m. to feed the homeless as part of the Midnight Run organization. I've watched and experienced our public schools up close and in action. Our school district is operating in a time of limited resources. People feel that they are paying too much tax and not receiving enough service in return. There is a general mistrust of the establishment and public education is under attack from all sides. But this vote is not about a what's in it for me attitude. It's about dialogue, education and inclusion to counter misinformation. Great Neck needs to know how our schools are succeeding and a new district website that makes the public record available to everyone with facts and figures will help reduce mistrust to proposed spending and budget changes. We all know that spending on public education is essential to maintaining a leading school district and keeping property values high. The Great Neck community knows this too, including private school families and empty nesters. They just need the facts to make sense of it all. I would suggest that you look at the qualifications of the candidates running for the seats. I know that I bring 25 years of professional consulting, deal negotiation, real estate management, entrepreneurship and creative problem solving to the table. I believe that I'm the best liaison with the Great Neck community and will start on day one to heal the rift that seems to divide us. I have the experience to rebuild the bridges and I look forward to serving in a wholehearted way to grow the community. 
I'm proud to be part of the Great Neck Public Schools and I believe that I am the most qualified to be a board trustee. Thank you.